nerd dice. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 67 in our series, Create a Ruby Gem, Nerd Dice. So in our previous video, number 66, we went over the how method missing and uh, being able to use that and override it uh, can work for the ability to use convenience methods and go back and look at our issue. We went through kind of how this is going to work and we can, if you didn't watch that video, I recommend watching that one first, it, it, at least if you're not familiar with how overriding method missing works. We kind of went over some of the, the basics of things you need to do in order to do it responsibly. Uh, it's a sharp and powerful tool and needs to be handled with care. So the first thing we're going to do, and this is probably going, this task is probably going to stay in process throughout the entire epic, but we need to make sure that method missing does not break. So since we're starting a new epic, to be in the right directory. So we're going to check out a new branch, call it feature. Convenience methods. So now we're on our new branch. And so the first thing we're going to do is create a spec here. So we're going to go into nerd dice and we're going to create a new file here we've got our communions methods back take a look at our Examples and what we did in our class methods. So, so this is going to be a module that we have for convenience methods. Let me take a look at one of the ones that we. So anyway, we will use one of these in, as an example. Configuration probably makes the most sense. So we will go back into our convenience methods. require anything special call our subject hmm what am I going to call the subject so I guess I'll call this class or this variable magic methods we'll see if we've already well, we've got an uninitialized constant we'll take care of that now so we'll go back into nerd dice itself create a new 
file here. Called and then we will create our module. fix our comment, um, our usage comment. I'll pause and do that. So I've got my module level comment here and I will need to require that. We will save. the very bottom so that should at least get us past our name error so we don't have any examples here so there aren't any to fail at this point. We will go back now and write our describe statements here. So this is going to be just mostly related to making sure that method missing still works um, in our normal cases. So, uh, and then we'll have similar to what we did with the class methods where we put things into um, subfolders and, and stuff like that for the different use cases will wind up um, doing that for the, these methods as well but let's at least get the the describe and it statements working for at least written for this so I'll pause and write those so here are it statements so we want to make sure that the standard method method missing behavior is preserved it still raises a no method error if the method is not defined and does not match our patterns. It raises a no method matter error if there's an improper combination of patterns with a total and um, an improper combination of patterns with role, which is kind of what we were looking at in these um, this module level comment there. So let's go and implement these. And I anticipate that these will, will be passing right off the bat. So um, we might go in and break them to make sure that they, they will fail if I mess things up, but we'll at least get these written. All right, so I've got the kind of these baseline specs written. Let's see if they will work. because I didn't save my file. Let's try it again. All right, so we've got three examples, no failures. I'm gonna make sure that I can make them fail if I write this method missing badly. So I'm gonna use the example we used from our last uh, episode where we had the, the bad version here where it didn't delegate to super. Just temporarily put that in there. And now 
we've got three failures and in all cases nothing was raised so that's what we want this spec to do is in the event that we accidentally break method missing we want all of these specs to fail so that is our intent right now go back and add this in Everything's passing. Let's see what Rubocop thinks. So most of these are layout spacing on the brackets. Missing a frozen string literal comment. So all these are autocorrectable. So all right, so Rubocop is satisfied with what we've got right now let's take a look at our code coverage here still good method missing doesn't break we're going to keep that in progress. But let's see. I think we'll commit and push this as it currently is. And then um, we'll start looking at some of the other ones in the subsequent episodes. I think we'll keep this one fairly short and sweet. So we have changed nerd dice by including that file and then we've added in our new specs here. So add all those write our commit message. So I've got my commit message. I think I am going to change my mind on what I do with the backlog. So I think I am going to move this to done. In the event that we break it, we can always move it back to, to, to in progress. But that's my commit message. Sign it. So we've signed it. push this to the remote. So we've got it tracking the remote branch. Take a look at our action. All right, so we are green. We'll go back to our project move this item to done let's see here for i think we need to at least get one of these up here to start working on before we can i mean we might wind up doing this all in one commit but um we'll of get these items working where the kind of our first pass at this try to get it to roll the correct items and we'll go from there in our next episode thanks for watching this stateless codecast 
Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.